Gang, today I'm talking about juice box fragrances. How many of you are familiar with this house? It's an Italian house with a music concept, and today I'm gonna do a top 10 list of the fragrances from Juice Box. And also wanted to let you know about an event here for Juice Box, which is taking place over at ZGO Perfumery. I'll be there if you're interested in meeting me and also meeting the founders of Juice Box Fragrances, and they can discuss with you the fragrances of the house. The event will take place on May 7th from 3 to 6 p.m. Come on over if you're nearby. But today I'm talking about juice box, as I said, and it's a top 10 list. If you're curious to learn about this house, then please stay tuned. Thanks so much for tuning in. This is Sebastian. Yes, today we're talking about juice box fragrances. Uh, they are sold at ZGO Perfumery here in San Francisco, and if you haven't been aware, there is a discount code for um, juice box fragrances. It's uh, in the info box, but uh, the juice, uh, not the juice, but the discount code doesn't just work. You have to go visit the link and add products into your um, a cart with the link that is in the info box to be able to use that discount code. But it does save you 15% off on juice box fragrances and many other brands, not every brand, but uh, a lot of brands. And so if you guys are in the market for fragrances, you can totally take advantage of uh, juice box fragrances or other brands. But today I'm uh, doing a list, a ranked list of juice box fragrances. And we're gonna go ahead and get started uh, with uh, Good Morning, this one right here. So as I was saying, the fragrances are inspired by music. Good Morning is inspired by classical music. And what I would call Good Morning is a musky ozonic fragrance and it's created by Dominic Ropion. So the brand Juice Box uses IFF perfumers a lot and they work with, frequently work with Dominic Ropion or Julianne Rasconet. And there's a few other perfumers here uh, throughout the, the collection, but the majority of the fragrances are created by uh, either Dominic Ropion, which is a lot of them, and many of them are also by Julian Rasconet. But Good Morning is created by uh, Dominic Ropion, as I said. It's a musky, ozonic fragrance, so it's got these kind of watery touches, and it's a great fragrance to start this kind of a morning ritual of waking up, good morning. To me, it has sea breeze, magnolia, tangerine, violet leaves, musks, and cashmere. And so it's a floral fragrance, and it has a major ozonic component there. So you've got this freshness from not only the floral touches, there's definitely the sea breeze there, some citrusy touches, you get to you know, experience the, the juiciness of the tangerine and of course the overdose of the crisp, crunchy, wet, dewy, ozonic touches of the violet leaves. Beautiful fragrance, it's starting off the list uh, inspired by classical music. If you've sampled it, do you notice the uh, inspiration at all? Uh, let me know, put a comment down. So at number nine, going to the fragrance Green Bubble, which I actually have a review on the channel if you want to find out more about this one. This fragrance is inspired by reggae music, and it's also a fragrancing, well, it's a woody amber fragrance, but for me, it's about cannabis marijuana. This is created by Julianne Rasconet, so we had Dominic Ropion, and we now have Julianne Rasconet. So this has notes of marijuana accords, absinthe, dry amber, saffron, honey, sandalwood, patchouli, cedar. There's definitely kind of a greasy, oily quality about this fragrance. I almost uh, visualize or smell like, um, grease, like car grease. But there's definitely the idea of the, the marijuana cannabis in here. It's very, very green. It's called Green Bubble after all. And it has some boozy touches, green touches. It's a very green fragrance, but not necessarily kind of fresh and green and leafy and stemmy. This is more just very green in that marijuana touches and the absinthe touches creates for this kind of a green combo. But you'll experience sweet touches in here, lots of woods and earthy touches as well. But as I was saying, it does have the kind of greasy car grease gasoline kind of a quality in here which is something I pick up which I don't get why but it's definitely there so this is green bubble uh, that's at number nine so up next we're talking about feel and chill at number eight this fragrance is inspired by lounge music so I hope you guys get to sample these fragrances and see if the inspirations make sense this is an ozonic green fragrance once again created by Dominic Ropion uh, remember I mentioned IFF uh, perfumers uh, mostly Dominic Ropion and uh, 
Julian Rasconet, but there's a few fragrances in here that are also created by other perfumers. The notes in here are fig leaves, watermelon, coconut water, bergamot, vetiver, and musk. Once again, it's an ozonic fragrance and also a bit tropical. It's got this fruitiness in here. Watermelon creates a bit of ozonic touch. It's very watery, kind of dewy and wet when you're wearing it. So it has a kind of a cold sensation touch when you're wearing it. That's why it's called Feel and Chill. Uh, I think it's a perfect summer fragrance because you want that kind of like cooling kind of fragrances. And it has greenness from the fig leaves, but very much wateriness, sweetness, not only from the water, watermelon but also from the coconut. Eventually it gets musky and woody as well. I think it's a pretty solid release but I like the other fragrances a little more. Uh, this is Feel and Chill. You should definitely go catch my top five um, list of the brand uh, that was done a couple years ago. And also last year I visited the brand in Milan where they have a store, an amazing store by the way. If you ever make it to Milan go visit their store. It's almost like you're walking into a very high-end music store but it's all perfumes because it's all very music inspired. So I definitely recommend a visit there if you're ever making it to Milan. So last year, Juicebox launched two classic inspired fragrances. The first one was uh, Good Morning right here, as I said. But the, the, the favorite of mine between the two is Spring Dance. Man, this is a beautiful, beautiful fragrance. Perfect fresh fragrance. It's floral and fresh at the same time. Again, this is inspired by classical music. This is also created by Dominic Rupion. It's a floral musky fragrance. Features notes of jasmine sambac, grapefruit, rosemary, honeysuckle, musk, and dry amber. So if you like the combination of tart citrus fruitiness, uh, along with, uh, you know, beautiful fresh floral touches. I think this is going to satisfy. You've got a bit of that kind of herbal touch, like aromatic kind of bitter spiciness of rosemary in here. Contrast through. And then, of course, it becomes musky. And then there's definitely the presence of amber when it's drying down. But for me, it's so invigorating. It's so fresh. It's a really sparkling fragrance and it does a great job when it's really, really hot outside. Spring Dance, it's a great spring summer fragrance. I would say it's more of a summer fragrance because it's so refreshing and it's a very, very cooling and there's an ice coldness about it, but we're getting it from the flowers and the citruses. Beautiful fragrance. Spring Dance is number seven. So moving on to number six, it's Night Flow. So Night Flow is inspired by rap music. So rap music and leather. This is a more of a fruity leather amber fragrance. So how do you guys see the, the fitting of the style, the inspiration for this kind of a fragrance? This is created by Julian Rasconet. So he's got two fragrances in this collection. I'm gonna to talk to you about both our leathers and they couldn't be so different even though they're leather fragrances. He's got the one inspired by rap music, and then he's also got one that I'm gonna to get to later, inspired by uh, the grunge music of uh, Nirvana. So this is uh, having notes of leather accord, saffron, raspberry, pink pepper, davana, patchouli, tolu balsam, osmanthus, jasmine, ambergris accord. I think this is a great leather fragrance. The only reason it's lower is it's because it reminds me of Tuscan leather. The other leather fragrance I'm gonna to get to later does not remind me of Tuscan leather even though it's leather and that's the only reason it's low ranked low but once you get past that reminder of Tuscan leather you definitely experience something very very quality it's definitely very leathery with the saffron it also has a bit of booziness from the Davana note kind of a green booziness very light but it has spices definitely lots of spices here with pink pepper and then of course raspberry adds a fruitiness it's definitely in there there's definitely that fruitiness in here which is actually working beautifully with the Davana I think Davana raspberry creates a you know this brightness contrast it with the darkness of the leather and the saffron. But you also have some osmanthus in here, which is also contributing to the floral touches and also fruitiness with jasmine. And I think what really rounds out this fragrance is it becomes ambery and more woody, earthy with patchouli. Beautiful fragrance. There's also tolu balsam. Did I mention that? So there's definitely a light ambery touches, which uh, kind of works with the ambergris. I think it's a solid, solid uh, leather fragrance. It's just ranked a little low because uh, it is uh, reminding me of uh, Tuscan leather. Up next at number five, it's Beat Cafe. This one right here. 
So Beat Cafe is inspired by folk rock music. It's considered a woody amber fragrance and it's once again created by Dominic Ropion. It's almost like one we got jo Julian Rescone, well, then we have Dominic Ropion. This has notes of tobacco, cognac, leather, cedar, benzoin, labdanum, vetiver, black pepper, coriander. It's a very robust tobacco cognac booziness and of course the leather comes in as well. I feel like I'm in a the beat, um, uh, what do you call it? The it's called Beat Cafe and uh, it's like a folk rock kind of like a concert hall or maybe a cafe where they play this kind of music and basically inside there they're, they're drinking the smoking the tobacco you know drinking the booze and things like that and maybe perhaps sitting on leather sofas and couches and chairs so the, the, the smells are all kind of mixed together to create this fragrance I think this is a great inspiration for this particular uh, musical style but the fragrance eventually gets all ambery woody and the dry down along the way you'll experience spices as well. Definitely a really solid release, one created by the master perfumer Dominic Ropion. This is Beat Cafe at number five. And then at number four, the third fragrance that was launched last year from Juice Box. This is Visionary Eye. And this one is inspired by the music of David Bowie. Uh, it's considered a woody amber fragrance and also floral at the same time and once again created by Dominic Ropion. If you're an iris lover, you've got to get your nose on Visionary Eye. It's gorgeous. It's powdery and buttery at the same time with the iris auris here. So beautiful. Beautiful combination of these... Um, uh, styles like you know you got powdery but when you're wearing this powder you can experiencing the the creamy butteriness of the actual orris butter that's in here there's also lavender wormwood cinnamon musk sandalwood vanilla thyme so there's definitely an aromatic quality about this fragrance where they have lavender and thyme as well so it's kind of brightened up and make aromatic and herbal but you have this warm spice of cinnamon and of course you've got this creamy sandalwood that's in the dry down with musk and that's what i think does more this this fragrance to become a very creamy fragrance because i find the iris or oris very very creamy and buttery and when it kind of connects with the sandalwood it has its own creamy characteristic you have this powdery creaminess that you're wearing such a beautiful fragrance and i think what really kind of puts this makes makes it a little stand out is the addition of the aromatics and also the warm wood because there's a light 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 kind of a licorice touch that's in here from the warm wood note really beautiful fragrance visionary eye uh, inspired by the music of David Bowie at number four. And then moving on to number three, it is that second leather fragrance, Black Powder, uh, that's created by Julian Rasconet. So he's created two leather fragrances. They're two different leather fragrances. In the end, they're both leathers, but they smell nothing alike, unless you kind of, you know, pick out just the leather smell between each fragrances you might say okay they're similar but i find them totally totally different so black powder is inspired by the grunge music of nirvana julian raskane is a perfumer here we've got suede tobacco apple black currant frankincense tonka beans pimento patchouli sandalwood very different take on a leather fragrance for me it does get fruity and whereas fragrances like tuscan leather has the fruitiness of raspberry here we have the fruitiness of apple and black currant which is kind of a breath of fresh air when you're always smelling that raspberry against the leather where there's so many variations on the Tuscan leather fragrance. But it's a suede leather. It's very creamy smooth. You've got some ashiness from tobacco in here, some light smokiness from frankincense, and of course it's drying down to a woody, earthy fragrance along the way with some spices and tonka beans. Beautiful fragrance, a nice leather. It's ranked high at number three because I really like that one uh, and uh, definitely deserves to be smelled if you're a fan of leather fragrance. And hopefully you can, uh, you know, uh, check out both of them and compare it to um, Night Flow and see how it compares between uh, black powder. And then at number two for a very synthetic molecular fragrance, it's Cheeky Smile. Can you tell I use a lot of this one? This is one of my favorite fragrances from this house because it's uh, basically molecular uh, notes. Uh, overdose. So this is a fragrance inspired by acid house music and it's a woody musky fragrance and this is a fragrance created by Dominic Mulhausen, so a different perfumer. It has notes of ambroxan, ambrosinide, isoe super, cashmere and amber extreme and amber core. So what is it basically? It's an overdose of woody amber but very dusty, dry, definitely synthetic, it's powdery, a bit metallic, a bit minerally, but very, very musky. It's an overdose of muskiness. And for these kind of fragrances, 
you need some perspiration for to project and things like that. And sometimes people are anosmic to it. I really love fragrances like this because sometimes, yeah, you gotta be into synthetic notes because this is a synthetic fragrance. Every single note is synthetic. So, uh, but you know, Ambroxan is so popular and that's the kind of fragrance this is. It's lots of ambro Ambroxan, but it has uh, ISOE Super and all these other kind of synthetic notes to create this very, very strong, molecular fragrance to you know wear and have the great longevity with and if you like the idea of ambroxan and isoe super together with these other ambery notes definitely try cheeky smile cheeky smile is a great great fragrance so i hope you guys get to try it see i've used quite a bit of it as i said uh, a great job and then finally at number one 14 hour dream this is a late discovery from this house and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It's so good. It's so good. It's a 2016 fragrance inspired by the psychedelic music of Pink Floyd and it's considered an amber fragrance and it's created by Antoine Lee. Have you guys tried 14 Hour Dream? For me, this is a fragrance about patchouli and vanilla, my two favorite, top two favorite notes. Together, I mean, it's a combo that I really, really love. But with patchouli and vanilla, you also have iris butter, sandalwood, guyac wood, ginger, saffron, cedar, and black pepper. So for me, it's an overdose of the vanilla and the patchouli, it's earthiness, it's beautiful kind of sparkling touch that I really, really love about patchouli, light chocolatey undertones, but they've thrown in the kind of creamy. They call it vanilla flowers. I'm getting the syrupy qualities of vanilla here. It's definitely sweet and syrupy and it blends beautifully with patchouli. So it creates a light chocolatey touch, but they've thrown in iris butter here. So it's powdery, it makes it more creamy. Sandalwood also intensifies and makes it creamy. And then they've got guyac wood, ginger, saffron, cedar, and black pepper. So it's spicy. It's zingy. It's a bit bitter, fresh spice, warm spice, a bit leathery, but a fantastic fragrance that smells really, really great. If you're into patchouli and vanilla and you like the other notes together, definitely try 14 Hour Dream. And that is my number one favorite from this house. That's the list, guys. Uh, that's the top 10 list of juice box fragrances. There's probably a few more out there and I have a couple of bonuses as well. Stay tuned for those. But if you're in the San Francisco area around May 7th, it's a Sunday, 3 to 6 p.m. and you're interested in coming and checking out juice box fragrances please stop by I'll be there I'd like to meet and also introduce you to uh, the folks behind the brand and show you some of the fragrances also don't forget to take advantage of the discount code I have it in the info box just keep in mind it doesn't work as is it used to you can't just use the discount code you have to go through the link and uh, check out uh, with uh, the link uh, that I have in the info box for these fragrances. Anyway, thanks so much for watching today's video. If you have any questions or comments, please list below. Please like this video, please share it, follow me on Instagram and Facebook, and I'll be back with more videos very soon. Have a good one. Goodbye. So I'm going to tell you about two more fragrances that I left as bonuses that just didn't fit into the top 10. We've got Feather Supreme. This is a fragrance created, well, it's inspired by the music of Aretha Franklin. This is considered a cheaper floral according to the brand. I find it to be more of a fresh floral fragrance. I didn't get much of the cheaper style. Perhaps it's hidden under there, but it has notes of tuberose, apples, jasmine, musk, ylang ylang, rose, mandarin, bergamot, patchouli, and labanum. The fragrance does get settled to a woody, earthy, ambery experience, but it's citruses and flowers all lots of them with that, that fruitiness of the apple. And I feel like the apple really kind of enhances the tuberose. And you also have that ylang ylang to give you that kind of like banana-like feel. Um, it's a beautiful fragrance. I would have featured this at number 11, but Feather Supreme. And then finally, it's Micro Love. So this one is inspired by U2's Zoo TV tour, and it's considered a woody ozonic fragrance created by Dominic Ropian. Did I say who created Feather Supreme? It was Dominic Ropian as well. So this has notes of ozonic accord, crispy apple, violet, clary sage, cinnamon, neroli, ambergris, white cedar wood, and suede. I felt like this was the weakest fragrance out of the bunch. Uh, it it's to me, I, I just didn't like this fragrance. I left it at the very bottom and off the, the main list. I, I, I don't know, it smells, 
it to me it smelled like a, a very average fragrance that I would find at a department store brand and designer and things like that so it wasn't a wow kind of a fragrance but I think people that like those kind of fragrances are really going to enjoy something like that but in the end I felt this was the weakest fragrance out of all the fragrances that I've sampled today and that's uh, micro love anyway that's all I have for you today thanks so much for watching bye bye